What's your name? Uh, Mike. Mike. I'm yep. Cameron, man. Nice to meet what you. Part of Kentucky, y'all from? Uh, northeast. Kind of. He's North central. East, I'm Jeff. Right. I'm from Ashland. Oh, I, I went to school in East Carter there. Right. Okay. I'm from Orlando, and then we moved to Grayson, so right. it was right oh, next yeah. to Ashland. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's where I spent most of my life. That's so weird. That's so yeah. weird. <laughs> so we fly, you fly fishing for some bare Monday out yeah, here? Yeah. Well, I need about thirty or forty to put in a pen to sell. So I just got here a little early, trying to figure them out, see what they're doing. Okay. They're being a little finicky, but when, once you catch one, you'll see their attitude kind of change. This is, Joe's telling me this is the only spot in the northern hemisphere. Yeah, basically, I'm the number one Bear Monday guy in the United States. That's so cool, man. And the getting to where I'm the number one peacock guy in Central Florida. Um, Byron City, y'all might want to catch a few peacocks. I'd love to. So man. I stopped and grabbed some minnows from the, from the damn hardware store. Cool. And we'll see if we can get you on one. We got a lot of one to six pounders. Other pond is about 4,500. And then we got the small pond, which we ain't fishing yet, and there's about 8,000 of them in there. So. Cool. One right there. Yeah, they're all over the place. catch a fish, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's just chilling right there. Well, this is kind of one of the trips I had been waiting on for a long, long time. My buddy Joe Straw told me that he had the hookup here in Osceola, Florida, at Fish the Pit for the only spot in the northern, northern hemisphere where you can catch barramundi. Uh, so we're out here fishing for barramundi in these stock ponds, uh, which is a fish that's actually found in Australia And they also have peacocks over here behind us. Super excited. Let's get to fishing Use ours if you want. Perfect. If you want, grab this one and have at it. Basically, I would start off slow You know, kind of pitch it out there and let it go to the bottom um, and, and you change it up. It's fishing. Every day is different But I would kind of start off slow just a small twitch. If not, if they don't get bit, kind of get more erratic on the switch. It might just be a fast retrieve back. It might be a slow retrieve. You never know how they're gonna bite it. So, you know, until you figure them out, now once you start getting bit, it's kind of like patterning any other fish. You got another plug ripped up on one? I hate to That's all yeah. right. bother. Hey, right there would be nice. Then they rag each other through the years. It's crazy, you see barramundi everywhere. There it is. Oh man, look at those jumps. Yeah. God damn. He said you can let that thing sit forever and they'll come up to it. There he is, he's right on it. Yep, see him? Oh man! Whoa, man! Jeez! <laughs> he just crushed it, man. Holy cow. This is insane how heavy this fish is. Yeah. Should I keep fishing behind him? You can. Look at him. There's like four or five. Ah, oh, dude, that's so sick. First bear Monday. Watch it. He, he does have a gill plate. Okay. Sorry, right, Joe. Unless you don't turn him loose. Okay. I'm shaking right now. That's my first bear Monday. <laughs> this is so sick. That was really cool. And like when I caught that one, like I don't know, probably what six or seven fish came right behind it. So gotta shut up, keep fishing. They're catching peacocks right behind me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Who, me? Oh, yeah. Oh, there he is. Ah. That was cool. Take the drag up here. Look at that toad right here. Yeah, dude, there's some big ones swimming around. Yeah, I know. 
I'll let him take that one. It's starting to pop these poppers a little bit. It's almost every cast now, man. That was a brutal hit. Yeah. It happened, Jess. They were hot for a second. That's what you said last time, right before I got a fight. I hope it works. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's a uh, yeah. That was I, that was keeping. That was the best time he's had. That that's what happened last time. I was like, man, the bike slow down. Yeah, man. <laughs> Dang. That couldn't have been any better. I know, dude. Hold it more in front of your chest. There we go. Now you're doing like like the, like the Instagram people. There you go. It went from three pounds to twenty-three. All right. Yeah. Good. Yeah, a couple of miles. Come over here. You want to catch one real quick? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, after this cat. I promise you, that school of fish ain't going All right. <laughs> I'm getting hit every cast. She might. All right, ready, boys? Here. Yep, there you go. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's a big boy there. I know, that's who I was going after. Do you want me to keep this like this, keep nah, him on? Or? Okay. You can take him off. Okay. You want to use the net handle? Yeah. That'll probably be easier. Just like that. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, man. If you can hold it still. Here they come. Keep it right where you're at. Yep, They're I see them. Really cold right now. Kind of bounce that middle just a little bit and let it fall. Oh, right in front of the camera, dude. Trying to get it in front of the camera a little bit. That was cool, man. I seen them coming, there were two of them. And as soon as he spit that minnow out, the other one ran back and grabbed the minnow. Nice. Do that again. All right. You don't have to argue with me. <laughs> yeah, you want me to catch a fish in front of you? Yeah. Oh, man. I got you. Yeah, he's sitting right there. Yeah. Drop that bait right in front of his camera. Right in front of him. Damn it. No, he, he'll come back. He'll, he'll see it. He sees it. Just let it fall. Oh my god! <laughs> but I checked his line work out and then um, went back and I had him do the snook skeleton on my arm. Uh -huh. Where's the snook skeleton? I had him do that one. Oh, nice. Fish left and right. I'm gonna run up over here. He's got a nice peacock on. Oh, Lord. You should have seen that one. Either. Jeez, Joe. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of your way. Oh man. Beautiful fish, man. Joe. Dude, you gotta sit here with this minnow and watch him. It's totally just put it right in his face. Let me get a picture of you with that one. Gorgeous. Three, two, one. The Joe Straw. Yeah. Alright, boys. Do they turn off the top water like when the sun well, comes out? Or? That sun out a bit. Yeah. That could be why they've done it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Don't the clouds or anything near the bottom, so right now they are more near the bottom. Oh, I just had one swing at this. Well, in the morning. Fish on. Yeah, I'm saying. Look at this dude. You can go out on that dock. You got to. Just set on the bottom. So sick. He's bad. That's why you're still. Oh, okay. I felt him thump it, though. Oh, no. I'm sure you did. If he hit it by the tail and you said the hook, you might have snagged another fish beside him. Oh, okay. Harder when they're yeah, they do. Nice. Y'all felt thump just like a slow they don't beat your leader up catching them like that. You want this in that tank? Uh, no. Yeah. He was about a pound bigger. We can put six pounds a year on a good fish. 
What'd you say the biggest bear of money you probably, probably have in here? 15. Right now, what we got. <laughs> the pro. Oh, that's great. Oh, fish off. Sorry, dude. You got bit? Yep. Oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Oh, <laughs> I hate kids fishing a stock pond, boys. Every time. You need a net. Oh, man, Joe. Oh, dude. There you go, man. Awesome. Beautiful fish. Don't their eyes get red at night? At night, they'll get blood red. That's what that mean. <laughs> nice. Whoa, fish on. Fish on, fish on. Oh, man. Oh, they're all over it, Joe. Pitch in there. There's like 20 of them on it. Dude, this is a nice fish here. Did you get hit too? Thank you, good sir. <laughs> Whoa, what just happened? Oh. Fouling? Yeah, keep. I don't even see this fish. I don't understand how I'm foul hooking them. You don't even see my line either. Yeah, I know. Just <laughs> throw it over again. <laughs> We're inlet fishing now. What's up? See Jess hit the water. Keeps fishing. He's like, did it. Whoa, there he is. Oh, man. A little chicken. Come on, Joe, hurry up and catch one. Oh, man, he just put him in his head. Oh, Jess, get over here. Throw back in here, bro. There, yeah, there's like 10 over here, man. Go! That is sick. Just like a Stick your finger down there and wiggle it. That is a nice one there. All right, yeah. He's like, hey, get that fish out of the water, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Five to six hours. Dude, we were, we were pretty. Oh, there he is. God, that was. Did you see that airborne? Yeah. Ollie, he did. <laughs> Throw in there, man. Don't touch the beam. <laughs> They're hitting them. Look at that. That is so cool. Jeez. Come on, man. Holy cow. It's awesome. But if they if they if you're catching them every cast and they're every choking it like that, and some days they will, you're retying that bit that bait every time you land. Yeah. Chafing it up left and right. Figure eight on the Bear Monday. Oh, it works. You can't do it like that. You gotta do it hard and grip. Really? Because, like I said, we had people breaking rods. Yeah. I'll show you. There you go. Oh, He's gonna be. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he got one. That's so crazy. Are you kidding me right now? That's right. Super aggressive. <laughs> you see how they came up? Yeah, you dude, that didn't take any time. You gotta have Terramar rods like this. Yeah, yeah I think you did. <laughs> Holy cow, man. Fish on! Fish on! Fish on! Must be I'm gonna have to go over top of his head. Yep, the snag. Coming down the rail. Do you have a fish on, sir? Can I keep it? What I'm doing is I'm letting this thing sink. And once it sinks, I'm holding my rod tip down. You see how I got my finger on that line? Yes. So whenever I reach up, I don't even have to look at it. I know right where that line is. Okay. 
if I go to set the hook, I'll either grab it like that and pinch it, or I'll, and I'll pull on it, and then I'll either feed the line by pulling it and pinching my finger like that, or I'll let him take it if he's pulling really hard, and I'll let him get on the reel. Once he's on the reel, I got the drag set. You can just fight him like a regular rod. Okay. But if you just want to try to retrieve a little bit and see if you can hook one. So it's whatever hand you fish with. Okay, hold your rod tip down. There you go. And then just kind of hold it down low. Like that? Yeah, you can hold it in the water if you want. Look, do little tiny bumps. About like that. And they ain't got to be hard or anything. Just kind of bump it real easy. And then let it, like, bump it twice and let it sit. Bump it twice and let it sit. They're going to hit it on that pause. And you'll feel it just like on a... Uh, you'll see that line take off like a bobber. Okay. So you're going to use that line as a strike indicator. Just like that. There you go. Now you can hook it and then you can let a little line out as he's fighting. And if you want, if you keep fighting hard, then you can get him on the reel. If not, you can strip that line and just pinch it with your finger and take it up. Because if he's running towards you, you can just pull that line faster and you can reel it. You know what okay. I'm saying? And just uh, keep the rod about like that? Yeah, about you know, just keep the rod bent. You just don't want to high stick it. Okay. High stuff breaks real easy. When so do I need to worry about this right here? Up. And then when you get him on there, you can turn loose that line. Right? You can just let the drag it goes to run. If he goes to run, make sure you get your hand away from that reel because it'll break your hand. Oh, this big fish. This will spin. Oh, okay. Dude, this is a completely different fight. Okay. I like this. When you get him about to that rod, where that green line's in the rod tip, uh -huh. just walk straight back and I'll leave him up for you. And just keep that rod out of 45. I like this. Dude, that's such a gorgeous fish, man. I appreciate you letting me use your fly rod there, man. It's like somebody letting you use your standard shift truck for the first time. Yeah, we brought some pop cans just in case you wanted to trash the place up, buddy. gets on the reel the reel's got drag on it so you can just slide it like a regular rod if not if, he, if he's running towards you strip that line like you like he was doing it the first time yeah. you can strip line faster than you can reel it on that reel so if he's running to you hard yeah dang jeff or jess all my friends names start with jay that's where it's at bro. look at that yeah go on dude big old bear monday on the fly Whoop. A cage That one. It's easier when you don't have a 20 knot straight in your face. Yeah. <laughs> dude nice so again we're out here we're getting wrapping up a great day of fishing out here at uh, Osceola Outback Adventures fish the pit for barramundi uh, peacock bass just a little bit of everything awesome guide service hey Mike <clears throat> give me a slimy handshake there man all right. I appreciate you uh, no problem, man. I appreciate you just giving us a hand today and showing us Kentucky boys a little bit of bear money and peacock fishing. This is definitely a once in a lifetime experience. You see Jess back there still in the zone. Uh, again, I, and I'll leave the link to uh, all the Instagram, the Facebook page, and how to get a hold of these people in the description of this video. But I really, if you guys are in the area uh, here in Florida, definitely give these guys a shout. Come out and fish, catch fish of a lifetime. Can't catch these anywhere else other than Australia. It's just a blast. I had a blast today, man. Thank you so much. Anytime, that's what we're here for. All right.